Hey there, my name is Alex. I am in fourth year computer engineering and I go to Queen's University. Why I selected this program? Well, I did hear a lot of good things about Queen's engineering specifically, um, specifically in terms of just culture and togetherness. Um, and I did find that throughout my time here. I also found that this program differs from other engineering programs and that it's not that competitive. And that's something I really value. There's a mentality of like, we're all in this together. And that's what I really like about this program. Also in terms of characteristics that um, you might want to look for in yourself. I think a lot of students that go into engineering prefer math and sciences. Um, and that's something that I identified with, but don't confine yourself to only those traits because personally I love creativity and art and design and you know that's something that's supplementary that can go a long way so I definitely encourage you to not confine yourself just to the math and sciences and generally I love this program too because there is a general first year so that allows you to explore more into the discipline you want to choose so you get to choose your discipline for the second year um, instead of going into your program straight off the bat, not knowing exactly what you like or not. So I will say there are a lot of group projects, so you need to rely on other students. Um, and that's kind of what engineering is, is working together. There are a lot of labs and of course there are lectures. Uh, so this is a very fast paced program. So in first year, I took six subjects. In the winter, I took seven subjects. Um, but that said, there are always accommodations, so don't worry too much in terms of that. You can always get supplementary accommodations as a student, and I know lots of students who do that. In terms of skill set that you need to succeed, I'd say you don't really need anything in particular because you learn a lot of skills as you go. So critical thinking is probably one of the main skills that you learn throughout your time in engineering. Um, everything centers around critical thinking, regardless of what discipline you go into. So you learn that throughout your time and it will become very important skill to apply in a lot of different contexts, but also in your academics here. Okay, how do you study or suggest people study in the program? I kind of like to divide my time between studying with groups because it helps in terms of, you know, bouncing ideas off of each other and working together to solve problems. And that's kind of what engineering is at the end of the day. Um, and I also like to study solo, especially for midterms and things like that. And personally, I like to make a lot of notes. I know a lot of engineering students who don't make a lot of notes. That's okay. Like it's based off of what works for you. Um, and I also generally highly encourage you guys to do the practice problems that are assigned mostly on a weekly basis, but basically anything that's assigned as homework on a weekly basis, you should do because it keeps you up to date for the midterms and assessments that are coming up. And I've been there where I haven't done them on a weekly basis and I've been so behind and I've crammed so hard for midterms and it's just not a fun experience. And in university, content moves fast. so. Keeping up on that will help once you get to a midterm and all you have to do is review the content you've learned throughout your term. It's gonna be so easy peasy and definitely recommend that. It's a smart way to study. In terms of anything that I wish I realized in first year, try not to compare yourself to others. That's definitely something that a lot of people fall into and I know I did, but you need to remember that everyone's different. So if you're comparing grades, do not do it. Grades at the end of the day, do not define you. You're getting the same degree. So that's the beauty of engineering too. And another thing about first year specifically is that even if it feels super hard in first year and it feels like you won't, you can't do it, you will be able to do it. I know so many people, um, my friends and I talk about this regularly actually. In first year, we would always say, oh my gosh, how can we do four years of this? It seems so hard, so difficult. And we're in fourth year now and it's been a great experience, honestly. And it's just kind of the nerves at the beginning of starting and thinking that it's very challenging. It's supposed to be challenging. You're at university, you're learning new things. And if it's not challenging, there's no point of going to university and learning. First year is very unique because that is a year where there's a large variety of classes and it's it's like no other year. It's amazing. It's a great experience, but it allows you to explore interests before choosing a discipline. So there's three parts to it. It's called module one, two, and three, and they're all lab-based and 
project-based courses, so group projects specifically. You learn a lot in terms of group dynamics. It's a great learning experience, um, and it's cool that they offer this, this course. Um, you also take physics, chemistry, and calculus one and two for the fall and winter semester, respectively. You also take engineering graphics, intro to linear algebra, intro, intro to computer engineering, um, earth systems engineering, so that's kind of like geology and mining, and applied engineering me mechanics, which is basically um, exploring civil interests. In second year, you actually branch off into your own discipline. So you get to choose in first year what you want to do based off of the courses you've taken um, and then branch off to your discipline. And from there, it kind of depends on what discipline you're in. For me, I'm in computer. So uh, I take a lot of um, electrical type classes and circuit based classes in my second year. And um, you kind of branch off from there um, and become more specific and more specialized as you go. And that's kind of the general feel for a lot of the disciplines. This type of content in terms of courses is definitely suitable for more science slash math based students. So if you really enjoy sciences and maths, I definitely recommend. If you detest it, I don't. Like I don't recommend you go into engineering, but if you like it and you're not quote unquote good at it, like I wasn't very good at programming and then I chose computer programming and now I know how to. So. I can tell you that the grade that you need to get in is around a 92, at least that's what it was for me. Now I know that they do a video style interview um, with, you know, questions on problem solving. I will say that something I did do and I recommend you doing is the PSE for your application. It was optional for engineering students, but it sets you apart and it kind of gives, you know, the university a little more context on you as a person. and what you can bring to university. So I would go the extra mile in your application to get in. Even if you had a lower grade than what they require, still apply and just complete your PSE, complete all the components and just do everything you can. And there's a high chance you will get in. You don't pick a lot of your courses, to be honest, and there's a lot of mandatory courses, which makes sense. But in first year you and second year, actually, there is no selection for courses. So you really don't have to worry about course registration, which is pretty cool. It's awesome, actually. Um, but once you get into third year, most disciplines start requiring that you um, select your courses. So a great resource to use is your undergrad program assistant. So there's at least one for each discipline and they're there really to guide you through you know choosing your courses what courses do you need to you know complete your degree and graduate and they'll also help you if you need to get into a class and the class says it's full if you email them most of the time you can actually get into that class which is really cool so they are a great resource um and they're always there to help out so anything course related i i recommend highly to reach out to them. So I'd say the beauty of engineering is that it really can be applied to anything. And there are so many students from engineering who do not actually pursue a career as an engineer. They go into things like law or finance or um, business. And that's because the skills that you learn in your undergrad career in engineering are so valuable in your life beyond university. So you learn things like how to work hard, how to work efficiently. Um, you also learn how to think critically. So that really sets you up for success and it's very, very valuable, you know, and it can be applied to anything really. But in general, if you are looking to um, pursue a career in engineering, you can go into obviously specific fields like, you know, you can be a civil engineer, you can become a software developer, things like that. Um, you can also um, pursue a master's degree in engineering and become more specialized in a related field. Um, but there's a lot of options you can do with an engineering degree, which is so cool. So personally, I didn't do an internship, but about half of my year went on internship in fourth year. Um, so a good amount do it and it's a great experience if you want to learn more about your discipline and your line of work, 
beyond university and kind of get a feel for it before you actually you know go into the workforce um and it also lets you know you know like what do you like do you like it you might not and that's okay at least you tested it out I can talk a little bit about my campus life. So I lived on campus and I was in a dorm style uh, residence. So mine specifically was called Single Plus. At Queens, basically that means you share a bathroom with one other person, but you get your own room. So it's like a single room plus an added bathroom that you share with another person on the other side of the wall. That was really cool. Um, I liked it and it gave me privacy and uh, kind of like own bathroom, it was kind of cool that way. Um, but other dorms that you can expect at Queens are, you know, singles without a bathroom. You just share on the communally on the floor. Um, singles, uh, doubles, triples, quads. There's a very wide variety, but regardless, you'll always be able to bond with your floor and it'll become a great resource um, and a great way to meet new people and new friends. And I will say, yes, there is a party culture at Queens, definitely. Um, I would say on bigger events, it's, it's definitely hectic, like homecoming and St. Patrick's Day, which is to be expected. But I will say that if you aren't into partying, um, there are a lot of students that aren't into partying and, and, you know, they decide not to participate in parties and they have a great time at Queens regardless. And I have a lot of friends who don't party and we're friends, we hang out, we do things together. So, you know, there's always gonna be people who are different from you, but you will be able to have a really good time if you don't necessarily party. So for coffee, I'm a big coffee drinker. So I like the tea room, which is actually at the engineering building, which is really cool. So very close. Um, also, I like Cogro, which is common ground. Um, and that is within the athletic center. It's a great place for like a quick sandwich. Um, and coffee in general. And then fave uh, eating places. I like cow, which is Asian style cuisine. It's really yummy. I also like Flip It. It's actually previously known as Canadian Grill Company, CGC, but now it's called Flip It. It's a burger place and it's very good. And then the last two are staples for first years, Loco or Location 21 and Lazy, which is the Lazy Scholar. They're both similar. Both are kind of like more fast food, but they're really good um, and you will know them very well. So as an engineering student specifically, EngSoc provides, so that's the engineering society, they provide a lot of different opportunities to get involved specifically for first years. So I got involved during my time here and it's probably the best experience I've ever done. Um, I was like a marketing coordinator for one of the teams and I learned a little bit about marketing. Um, and then now I'm actually the vice president of the engineering society. So it's really cool. There's a lot of opportunities you can explore and it's, all, it's also um, no experience required for everything. So if you apply to a position in EngSoc, you don't have to worry about if you have like qualifications because it's based on opportunities. But in first year, you can be on the first year exec team. Um, so it's kind of like student council and you're in charge of your first year and organizing activities and it's a really fun time. First years love first year exec. It's super fun. Um, you can also be a part of a mentorship program called FIP, the FIPCO program. And basically what you do is shadow um, an upper year student who's in a senior NSOC position. And it's a really cool opportunity to, you know, learn more about NSOC and get involved for the next year. And there are also a lot of clubs at the AMS, which is the Almer Matter Society, and that's for all Queen students. So it's a great way to meet people outside your program. Um, but specifically, something that sets us apart as a faculty is that um, and Shock offers design teams. So these are basically like clubs, but you go to competition and you can compete and, you know, build something that you're interested in. Um, so for example, we have a Hyperloop team. Um, if you know Elon Musk, you might know a little bit about Hyperloop. And then um, concrete toboggan team. So they basically, you know, design and build a toboggan made out of concrete and race it at a competition. There's a lot of different things that we provide, um, but it's a great way to meet people who are like-minded or explore something new that you want to learn more about. So I would highly suggest joining these groups, joining some type of club. Um, and that's really a way to get to know a lot of different people. Um, I definitely recommend doing that. I know I met a lot of people 
following that same path. So definitely recommend it. In engineering, we're really lucky. We have engineering embedded counselors. So they work out of student wellness services at Queens, but they have been allocated specifically to the engineering department, which we're really lucky to have. So you can, it's normally it's more tricky to book counselors that are um, campus wide, but with these counselors, they're available pretty readily. Um, and I know I use them pretty frequently. They're an amazing resource. So that's one that's amazing that we have. We also have accommodation support for classes. Um, you can always contact your professor or the faculty has um, resources on their website that you can check out. They also started a new program within the faculty called EngWell. And basically you can look at it on their website as well, but it provides students with a bunch of different resources and it can span things like housing and academics, uh, mental health, finances, healthy eating. There's so many. In terms of career uh, support, Queens has a service for career counseling. Um, so basically you can go to them and they support you through your journey beyond university and help you decide where you wanna take your career, things like that. In engineering, we have a ton of equity, diversity and inclusion centered groups now um, that I'm for one very proud of. So WISE is one and it's women in STEM and engineering. And that's basically um, a club or organization that um, provides workshops and opportunities for women in STEM to connect. QAs, which is, um, it stands for Women in Applied Science and Engineering Conference. This is a conference, but it's similar to WISE in terms of networking opportunities. And finally, we also have a gender and engineering panel, which kind of spans more broadly in terms of gender and eng. So, um, any gender really it applies to, but it's more targeted towards in university support um, as opposed to external, like once you're you know, set in the workplace, that type of support. Um, there's a lot of students who I've talked to that ha haven't really received like a lot of support throughout their time um, as minority genders um, in engineering. So this is something to, you know, bring students and like-minded students together and um, give opportunities to talk about their issues and listen to important speakers, things like that. We also have a National Society of Black Engineers chapter this year. This is an amazing step in the right direction. Um, so it's basically a group for, uh, you know, black engineering students to be able to go to and it's really there as a support for them. And then we also have Engiqueers, which is a club similar, but um, to support LGBTQ plus students in engineering. One, stay organized, make a schedule. I made like weekly and monthly schedules, but basically you wanna log your assessments so that you know when and how to study for them or else you fall behind and it's not fun. In terms of self care, I'd say take breaks and know your limits because I, for one, like to push myself too hard and it doesn't do well for me at the end of the day. So if you can tell you're getting exhausted, take the break because your body is telling you you need to. And it's important to do that so that your mental health is, you know, well, but also so that you can perform better on your assessments. Another thing I highly recommend during your time here, spend time with your friends. Spend that quality time because university is an amazing experience and you don't have forever. It, it goes like that um, and you want to be with the people that make you happy and you want to have fun at your um, during your time here. So make sure to value the time you have. And with that, Good luck to anyone who is willing to apply to this program and I hope you do. It's an amazing experience. I'm so glad I did it. And I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for having me on this uh, channel and good luck everyone.